the even the approach that I start even taking from it now that, you know, no regrets type shit. But I'm like, damn. Now I'm like, but people are still building. People are still developing. And now I start thinking about what's happening on the back end as opposed to being like a consumer, like that retail investor, that speculator trying to make a flip. I'm like, well, people that have been building these projects or, you know, people that's working on a blockchain, like that's that's a forever bag. I'm yeah. always getting paid. So yeah, now I'm right. I'm I'm trying to learn how to build smart contracts. I'm trying to learn this Python, trying to just get into this tech and trying to understand where, yo, people are actually, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people be like, um, try to like be like turned off by like nine to five or not wanting to work or whatever thing like that. But I'm like, bro, like being able to have an income need, is exactly in, what you Income need is to, the name of the game. No your, matter how you get it. Exactly. No matter how it you, comes you in, you need regular money. And once you have your stability, guess what? Now you can fund other things that can yeah. actually generate you more things to build onto your foundation, you know? And I think like sometimes people just want to strictly always be like enjoy the things that they do so like when you want to just parlay it back to like nfts it's fun yeah it's yeah fun. yeah you always win but when it's down now you don't have any resiliency and you're not trying to like build upon that yeah you know what i'm saying that's when you get burned yeah because you really oh, do man that, my fuck is always saying you do what you love and the money come but that's not always true you gotta do what's gonna make you money nigga like, that's that's, a, that's, bro. Just, that's, that's the what big it comes yeah. down to you know what i'm saying because i was sitting at the pressure game one time next to this nigga this white dude, he uh, and I looked at his wrist. He had this Rolex on, and it had Domino's logo on. So I'm like, "Damn, you own Domino's?" He's like, "Yeah, I own 12. I said, "Oh, so you oh. must love pizza." He said, "No, nah, I hate pizza, but shit, some, you know, some, <laughs> everybody some, else like, loves pizza." He said, "But everybody loves pizza, and sometimes you gotta do shit that you don't want to do, but you know it's gonna make you money. You gotta make those sacrifices." So you know what I mean? So like, bro, make said something about mindset. You know, the mindset. You know, I think he creates a decision and your decisions mold your whole life. You know what I'm saying? You left or right, death, death or life type shit. You know what I'm saying? You make it make a decision. So your mindset gotta be right. Cause you make those wrong decisions and now instead of uh taking those taking the lessons of being up and down, now you're on the street. Now you you now you 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 know you lost your job, you're nine to five and you're down and down and you're depressed. You know what I'm saying? All because you couldn't see see the other options that you had, type shit, you know what I'm saying? Early. Early.